In April of this year, a handful of noisy skeptics and debunkers alleged that as a result of declining UFO reports and UFO footage, public interest in the phenomena had followed a similar declining path. Moreover, they alleged that the space around us is dead. While NASA and the vast majority of scientists and astronomers around the world would take issue with the latter claim, what of the rest? The truth is that worldwide, UFO reports have actually shown a marked increase in recent years. For example, here at UFO magazine, reports submitted since the turn of the year by members of the public and UFO researchers alike equate to a 50% increase on the same corresponding period of 2001. And, with that, has come a comparable increase in UFO footage. As with UFO reports, approximately 95% of alleged UFO footage can, after proper research and analysis, be explained in conventional terms. Quite often, this process may take but a few minutes in detecting the telltale characteristics or signatures of an aircraft, or planet, or even a star. But, once you have addressed these, and countless other explanations that might account for the unusual anomalous object, or light seen, you are left, as with UFO reports, with a small residue of videotape sequences that defy all logic and explanation. When faced with these, skeptics and debunkers will often cry fake at best or simply ignore them at worst, as is their custom. When analyzing alleged UFO footage, UFO magazine's Russell Callahan applies a totally objective stance. Often, those who submit what they believe to be genuine UFO footage vehemently disagree with his conclusions. But what leads him to arrive at those conclusions in the first place? Who better to respond to that question than Russell Callahan himself? Thank you, Graham. Well, welcome to the office. Here at UFO magazine, my, my job, or one of my jobs, involves analysing um, alleged images of, of UFOs. Now, grand though that may sound, uh, it is in actual fact a very arduous task. Um, over the last five or six years here at UFO magazine we've had literally hundreds of videotapes sent through the doors <laughs> this is a subject that according to uh, some of the popular press is a subject that's dead on its feet absolute rubbish is what I can say to that the, the videotapes just keep coming and coming and coming and photographs not just digital photographs we know you know we're living in an electronic age if you like and it's very easy and very fast to be able to uh, generate I images and, and broadcast them around the world now with, with, with the advent of the internet. Um, but, but real photographs, you know, on, on celluloid film, these things are still being taken. People are actually still taking the time out to, 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 to approach UFO magazine or approach UFO researchers uh, because they believe they've actually witnessed, filmed and photographed something uh, that's not quite the norm. That's great. Um, you know, without the UFO business, there'd be no UFO magazine. Uh, and, and without UFO reports, you know, th there'd be nothing to put in there. Um, over the last five or six years, there's been no such thing as a decline. Uh, the subject seems to have grown and grown and grown. And probably if we, if we go back you know, this five or six years, and let's just have a quick recap. Um, ten years ago, the price of a domestic camcorder was, you know, you could go out and buy a car just as cheap. Um, this day and age, you can go out and pick a, uh, an 8mm or high 8mm video camera up for about £299. Now, it's still an awful lot of money, but it, it's a quarter or if not a fifth the price it used to be uh, just a few years ago. So we've got to accept that then there are far more camcorders out um, in the general public, if you like. There are also professionals out there that are filming um, strange objects. Recently we've had footage taken from a police helicopter um, and, and made available to, to UFO magazine. We actually showed it at the conference last year and hopefully we can show you a little clip of that further along in this particular video. Um, all sorts of, and all means of images 
and occurrences have been happening over the past few years. And of course, let's not forget the, the amazing scenes that, that we've, we've seen and been captured by several people, Martin Stubbs, Jeff Challender, uh, Les Willey, Andy Ellis have all been, been able to make available um, images that, quite frankly, should be embarrassing to NASA. Um, we're going to show you some more of that further on in this video. So please let, let no one tell us that the subject's dead. Um, what we've done for this particular section, um, spotlight on UFO footage, yes, over the last five or six years, it, 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 it's no over-exaggeration that we've received literally hundreds and hundreds of videotapes. Um, we go to this 95%, it's probably more than 95% uh, mistaken identities. Um, easy done, you know, newcomers to camcorders, newcomers to sky watching, see a satellite, wow, we've got something, you know, we can't see any wings, etc. That's fine. Um, mistaken shots of planets, and, and, and that's fine also. But there are those occasions where that, that hardcore percentage keeps coming through that's not so easy to, to actually dismiss. And uh, we've got quite a good few um, examples of, of the like. We've also um, got some interesting developments in, in, if we all think back to 1994 or 5, I believe it was, when um, the, the first Tuesday documentary was aired in Great Britain. And we, we had the guy from Panasonic, Simon Nash, um, dismissing the diamond-shaped UFO as nothing more than an iris motor effect uh, and something that had happened when bright lights uh, hit the iris motor and the lens records the, the, this shape and it, it can't resolve the image so it gives you this beautiful diamond shape on the, on, on the screen. Well, we were very um, wary of that explanation in, in, in the first instance be, be, because of angles, etc., and how things didn't seem to fit. But we, we, we've now um, got... So, some new examples of that, but we've also got a fabulous example from, from Australia where, where the diamond shape is seen in the sky, but as the camera focuses through the diamond shape, then there is an object behind it, and there's also a very strange occurrence, which you're going to see uh, hopefully for the first time on this particular video. But there's a lot of material to get through, so sit back and enjoy it. Um, we'll, we'll give you the close-ups where we can, and as much information about the, the footage as we can on screen. Uh, but this particular cut's been put to some, some nice music, so sit back for the next 15, 20 minutes or so, and enjoy some, some really good UFO footage. I want you to know you were never there. Now, I didn't understand what he meant. Because I said, yes, I was. He said, no, you weren't. I said, yes, I was. He said, can't you get this through your head? You 